Good afternoon. This is Tanisha Laverne Grant with BlackInAmerica.com. Super excited to bring to the platform one of my favorite girlfriends, okay? She's sharp. You guys know she changed the game and landscape when she starred on Girlfriends in the early aughts. It was a cult classic that... Um, you know, gave birth to Insecure, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Keisha, welcome to the platform. Today, we're going to talk about your brand new film, you know, a Hallmark mahogany film. You know, super excited to speak about that called Spring Breakthrough. So let's talk about Spring Breakthrough. Single mom, you know, going through some changes. You know, let's yeah. just talk a little bit about, you know, what this character Act her name is Monica. Interesting. I know. Enough, right? <laughs> I know. Um, um, so let's talk about, you know, who Monica is to you and what she means to you. Oh, wow. Monica, one thing I love about her, she's three dimensional. She's a lot of things. Um, of, of, I'll just start breaking down. She's a strong woman, um, has an incredible career doing something for the community. She has a beautiful daughter um, who is in college, who is fighting for something beautiful. Um, but what happens when the rug is pulled from underneath someone that mm. thinks she has it all together, right? She has a daughter that's doing great and she loves her. She puts everything into her and she has a job that she does the same for. And what happens when those things get pulled away? Um, I love that about watching this woman maneuver through the ups and downs of a lot of us have in life. But how do you get through that? How do you break through that? Um, and that's that's what I would say about her. She finds a way through. Um, it's it's interesting to watch and funny to watch her find her way through. But I think it's a great example of a woman um, fighting through something and making it. She's very relatable. Yeah, I think it's really important. It's really important for, I think, for our generation. You know, we grew up with you. We grew up with girlfriends. Yes. So I think it's really important for our generation to see, you know, the girlfriends as women, you know, in mm -hmm. their 40s and early 50s, yes. doing things that women in their 40s and early 50s do. Because yes. in this culture, we're so like youth driven, youth oriented, like we can age, we can get old, we can yes. talk about menopause. I mean, it's so crazy, all of yes. it. You know, so it's really this role is so important. And so it's it's so timely. You know, one of the topics that's in the culture that's floating around that I actually saw in the in the breakdown for the film is this word soft life, the phrase soft life. Yes, yes. Soft life culture. You know, what is soft life to you? Hmm. I just heard this. Sadly, I heard this phrase. I think last week was the first time I heard it. Um, Are you serious? Yeah, I'm very serious. <laughs> and I'm trying to remember where I heard it, who told me. I was like, what does that mean? Um I I I I like it. I mean, if 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 I'm remembering the face to be what I think it is in terms of lightening up in life, right? And what yeah. what does that mean? Um I love the idea that we are all coming to a place that, especially in this movie, in terms of we put so much in our careers and so much in mm. family. And sometimes, it's not that it's not good to put ourselves in those things, but we get lost in those. And also, we've pushed so hard, our health um, starts to um, exactly, we, we think it's like stress, 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 we're going to make it, we're going to make it, but we forget about our health, mental health, our spiritual health, physical health. And I think softening up and just living life on a different level of, of gratitude and kindness and um love for our, our our brother like you yeah. know just how do we do that it's not all about the selfish it's about softening and and um yeah that's what I, I think that's what i think about that you know what i'm so glad that you said that because there's been this great big debate about soft life you know like yeah, what is yeah. what is a soft life some people think soft life is not working and quitting your job and never going back to work well that will leave you broke that's not soft life <laughs> No. Like it's just making conscious choices, you know, to say, you know what, I'm going to spend a little bit more time with my family today. Yes. You know, I'm going to spend a little bit more time volunteering or advocating yes. for somebody else, right? Yes. I'm going to spend a longer, a, a bit longer in the tub today. You know, That's that is soft right. life. You know, so many okay. people look up to you. You're quite an icon. You know, you are definitely um, part of the zeitgeist of the culture. 
act, you know? Um, what would you like to say to the men and women who look up to you, who aspire to have a career, you know, in television that really don't understand all of the nuances that go into, you know, the level of success that you've achieved? That's a great question. Uh, yeah. Business is not for the faint of heart. Um, it's also, to me, a business that you have to understand that everything is not for you. And it doesn't, mm. doesn't mean and it doesn't mean that you're less talented or, or less beautiful and, and unique and all those things. It really just means that that particular job wasn't for you. Something is coming. And what happens is because we're as artists, we're um, sensitive <laughs> and we open yourself up to do a role and, or go in for an audition. You open yourself up to this this thought of maybe maybe this is for mm. me. You get no's much more than you get yeses. And so if you think about that in life, just, just put that in, just pretend that that we're, instead of talking about acting, we're talking about love, right? You go into a relationship and you're open for this might be the one and you're disappointed when it's not. And so ah. then you can, either, you can either do two things. You can either keep fighting or you can say, put the walls up. And, and bringing that a little back to Monica on, um, and both Monica's, but <laughs> right? I was, I thought that was so funny. I was like, oh my gosh, she's Monica again. <laughs> That's how I felt when I read it. I was like, no way. Um, but, but she put up, even this character put up walls because something didn't work out in her life, right? Her, mm. her, the love didn't work out. So I'm, I'm going to put up a wall for that. That's no longer going to be something I pursue. I'm good by myself. Same with in this career. It's, we can get in places where we don't get things. And that therefore it means that I'm not attractive. I'm not unique enough. I'm not talented enough. But it means none of those things. Mm. It's that it wasn't for you. And that's how I've gotten through really this career is when someone else gets something i'm truly happy for them Ooh, it's that's not key. yeah it's that's not key. learning to be happy key. for others yes learning to be happy because and also in learning to be happy there's this this energy that you have that will, yours will come because mm. you're happy for someone else you're i love really that genuinely happy for someone else and you say oh i'm not the only one praying for a gig <laughs> <laughs> everybody's out there that's a very selfish thing to think it's like well yeah. i prayed for, why didn't i get it no she is and he is and whatever it's meant for them god that was their blessing not mine and that will get you through so much in this business now that that is the the mental part of the business now the other side of it is you gotta work mm. you gotta, it doesn't mean waiting for someone to give you a gig write write your story write someone else's story shoot we got these cameras these phones with amazing cameras on it. There's no excuse not to shoot something. Just mm. keep working at your craft. Keep honing it. And and if you love it, remember that. Remember the love for it, that it doesn't become a job. Yeah, like a, <laughs> a, a task, like something. Yeah. Okay, I did it. Yeah, yeah. it's too, too hard of a job to, to turn it into a job. You have to love what you do because you're going to struggle. That's an amazing answer. And I got to tell you, like, I'll follow you on social. You're always uplifting, always warm, always encouraging, and really transparent, you know, which is really, really great to see. You know, I wanted to ask you, like, when did you realize, you know, you wanted to become an actor? Like, what was it? Was it a movie? Like, what was it? What was that that defining moment? Because, you know, you've had quite a career. Quite it's a been, career. It's been long, I guess. Um, <laughs> I started in theater. So mm -hmm. I knew from a really long, young age that I, I loved the stage. I loved the stage. I loved performing in, um, in front of a live audience. I loved musical theater. I loved plays. I, I always had that since I was little. And I, and I loved music. So I played clarinet, cello, and piano growing up. So I knew the Wait arts. Wait a second. Wait a time out. Did you guys hear this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Piano, cello, and what? Clarinet. Clarinet. Wow. Yeah, I growing up. The piano, the clarinet. I think my sister did the clarinet. Cello, no. Cello, no. So, <laughs> you know, um, you know, this this movie, Hallmark Mahogany, Spring yeah. Breakthrough, you know, really geared to moms reinventing themselves. You know, yes. you're a mom yourself. You know, yes. what would you like to say to moms when they are mm -hmm. at the mat or they get to the canvas and they just feel like they have nothing else? You know what I mean? Like that burned out feeling where you're like, okay. Is there anyone who sees me? Mm. First of all, yes. <laughs> There's people that see you. I think the most important part is that you see yourself. I think mm. that's it. 
That's a, that, then when you say, when you start seeing yourself and moms can get burned out because they're doing everything for everybody else. They're trying to make, especially single moms, trying to make the money, trying to do this, trying to, and this is Monica all the way. She was a single mom for a really long time. She did so much for her daughter. She got her to college and like, and, and she's rooting for her there. And she knows she's going to be the best she can be at. You, you know, she's put that in her mind. You have to fight for what you want. And then in her own career, she's fighting for what she believes in. And then everything is gone. Her daughter is going to be married, found someone, uh, the love of her life. And mm. that means she's losing her. And then her job just fires her. What does that mean? And so for talking about real life, not that Monica's not, her situation isn't real. It's like, what do we have other than those things? When everything is taken mm. away, what are you left with? And I think if we can answer that question in a positive way, it doesn't, the other stuff doesn't matter. Yeah. So if, yeah, so if I'm working all this hard for everybody else, but I'm not seeing myself and taking care of myself, I believe in self-care. Um, I'm not, first of all, I'm not the best I can be for everything I'm doing, my job and my children and my husband or my partner. I'm not the best I can be for them if I'm not seeing the best. Yeah. Yeah. So taking care of yourself is so vital that once that happens, man, you can do anything. You can do anything. Even if you get stressed, we're going to get stressed in life. But yeah. like you said, the soft life, the soft life, what does that mean? Now I, I, I recognize that I'm stressed. Let me go take a bath and take some time for myself. Let me go take a, a day vacation somewhere. Let me go get a massage. Let me read a book. Let me just close the doors and meditate, pray. Um, I think I think that's the, that's the, the answer for yeah. all of us mothers who can be stressed out and feel unseen. I love this. And I love that this film is coming out in time to bring in the month of May. Yes. You know, to honor moms, you yes. know, who sometimes feel so unseen. Before yes. we wrap this up, because I do know you have a heart out, yes. um, five films, you know, that are your go to films when you just want to feel good. Oh, you know I mean, five, five good films. I love Double Wars Prada. I don't know why. If it's not, it's, it's that is my number one well, after Mahogany. Oh, yes, Mahogany. Yes, <laughs> After Mahogany. Yes, I love that movie. Yes. Yeah. Those, I would call those, I call those um, remote drops. You know how someone says a mic drop? If it's yeah. on TV, it's, that's, that remote is going down. I'm going to watch that. They're full good movies. Um, um, Mahogany, I love. I love that that's on your list, too. Mm -hmm. um, I love... <laughs> I love Boomerang. If that's on, I'm going to put it you down. You know, Boomerang is good. Boomerang <laughs> is good. Yep, I love that one too. Yeah, me too. Well, good. So we need two more. We need two more, girl. Two um, more, two more. Well, this is me like picking because I have so many. I would say um, Coming to America is a, a, a remote Oh, drop. yeah. Because um, we're talking feel good because I have others that aren't necessarily feel good. And then I would say, um, oh gosh, what's another great one, Keisha? Oh my, I can't think of it. And there's so many. There's so many. Tell me, tell me, tell me yours. Um, I like, I'm going to go old school and go beaches. Oh, I love beaches. Oh, I love beaches. I would just, and it's yeah. so good because you get to cry. Yeah. yeah, I love that. It I takes me, it. it gives me all the feels, all yes. of it. So, top five feel good movies. She did it. Keisha Sharp. <laughs> One of my favorite actresses, actresses, when she came on that scene and girlfriends, I was like, this is my girl. <laughs> Thank my you. My favorite girlfriend right there. Shake it up. Shake it up. <laughs> Brand new film that she's in. Uh, Mahogany, Hallmark Mahogany series, Spring Breakthrough.